So what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video, I just wanted to come to you about nocturnal deer because recently, and I, I'll also relate it back to a, you know years ago when I used to hunt you know different places and, and just some of the things that I've seen. And recently, I spent some time on public land hunting and I went back to a public land here in Maryland that I used to hunt maybe... 15 years ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, somewhere between 14, 16 years ago, I, I hunted. And I want to go back to that because uh, this morning I had some questions. It was, it was kind of funny um, because I was making this video anyway, but this morning I had some questions about uh, a guy messaged me on, I think it was Instagram, talking about all his deer on his property were nocturnal. And he kind of sent me some info and I was trying to help the guy out. Well, come to find out, it was because it was too much pressure on a small piece of property. And he sent me some maps and pictures of the land and what was around it and things like that. And it was all pressure. There was actually a outfitting business around there as well. And I gave the guy some, some pointers and things like that. So he's going to try that out. But... When you're hunting in an area like that, there's really, honestly, a, not a whole lot you can do because if there's pressure around there, you know, yeah, you know, if you're tucked in, you know, in a corner somewhere or something, you know, the theory, you know, you could have people, you know, outside pressure, you know, push the deer to you, but it's difficult. And I want to relate this back to a few years ago because it's all, I don't think deer are really nocturnal animals. You know, they feed four or five times a day and you know I think that the only thing that really makes them nocturnal is us human pressure and I've made a few videos about this you know years ago but I just kind of want to update it refresh it a little bit because some questions were coming in and a recent experience that I had so in the year you know years ago I'll relate this back to a property that I used to hunt with a friend of mine and I think it was about 350 acres somewhere around there and it was a good property like there was big there was big bucks there it was surrounded by agricultural uh, fields and it was farmed and, and things like that they didn't have this is I'm, I'm going back 10 years ago they didn't have food plots there or nothing like that I don't even think they hunt that anymore I don't even really talk uh, to that guy or person anymore um, we just haven't stayed in touch but uh, maybe even longer than 10 years ago but when we went there there was all his uh, sightings of deer on, on trail cameras. It was all at nighttime. We hunted there. Never, I never saw a deer during the daylight. And I'm like, man, this place sucks. Well, it wasn't that the place sucked. It was just because of pressure. What was going on around that property and what they were actually doing on the property. So back then, you know, I was 23. 3, 24 years old, something like that. And um, I'll actually go back further than that too on, a, on the next subject. But it was const they were constantly walking through the woods, riding four wheelers, riding ATV, riding side by sides, riding tractors, doing this, doing that. And they were constantly pushing the deer off the property. And the deer just became nocturnal, whether that they were there all day and they just didn't move much you know in nighttime they started to move or they were just pushed off to another property i don't know but when you hunt there during the day you would never see deer and it's just because of pressure whether back then you know i wasn't my place i had no ju judgment on where i hunted how we entered the woods or nothing like that but it correlates to pressure and entry and exit to that to the property so if you're walking in constantly pushing deer off the deer will quickly go nocturnal it does not take much it's always funny because some lands it seems like you can it can take more pressure and in other lands it take it can take just one time and all of a sudden the deer are gone and you don't see them anymore well it's not that they're gone they're just nocturnal and i think that goes down to what's actually going on on the property and around the property because back further you know 20 years ago 15 years ago 
we hunted this other property that wasn't mine and again we didn't see a whole lot of deer during the daylight and again i was you know i was like a kid and i was like man this place sucks well it wasn't that it sucked come to find out that area had a lot of poaching and road hunters going on at nighttime there was hunters i don't want to call them hunters because they're not hunting but they're poaching but it was people driving up and down the road spotlighting the fields at nighttime and shooting them with guns and that'll quickly make an area very nocturnal and that that's what was going on so i don't think deer like i said i don't think deer are naturally nocturnal yeah they may they move at nighttime sure but they feed four or five times a day so if you can have that property that magic property where there's just no pressure you're going to see deer all day long you know i've seen it over and over you know you bump the deer a few times and all of a sudden the deer are nocturnal and then that person is saying this place sucks like i did 20 years ago but recently i went back to a public land that i kind of started out public land hunting on and i wouldn't even say i hunted there like a lot i would hunt there maybe maybe five six seven times a year and this goes back uh let's see i was probably 16 17 years old so it goes back a ways and um i would we would drive there uh after work and or i'm sorry we would drive there after school i was i was in high school when we got out you know around 11 o'clock well we used to drive there after school and hunt the afternoon sometimes other times you know we would have to leave super early in the morning you know three four o'clock in the morning to get there it's about an hour and a half from my house and back then it was a great place awesome place to hunt not a lot of people hunted there but still quite a few and you could go there and it wouldn't be it wouldn't matter where you sit you would always see deer always see deer you would see bucks i mean they expected you know out of this place they expected the the state record to come out of there and it never did but mature bucks big big uh scoring bucks came out of there all the time well we just stopped hunting there because i got into private land well probably 10 years ago i actually won a lottery hunt there for muzzle loading and i went there muzzle loaded hunted all day never saw a deer i talked to the dnr uh agent or ranger whatever you want to call him that uh that run that area and I asked him back then, 10 years ago, I said, man, you know, really didn't, didn't see no deer. I said, uh, how's this, how's it been going here? Well, you know, it's been kind of slow and you know, this and this and this. And I was like, oh, you know, okay. Well, a, a article came out about this property around that time. And they were talking about shutting the place down for a couple years to let it, to let it regrow. Well, they never did. So recently, I decided to go back there, and I went one day uh, on an off day and scouted. Well, I used the hunt stand app, and I marked, you know, kind of picked some locations, tried to remember where we hunted back in the past, and I marked some stand locations and, and such, and I hunted there for four days. Never saw a deer. And when I went there, the place was slammed with people slammed i mean there was just people everywhere and again i saw the ranger and i talked to him i said uh i said how's you know hunting been going this year He's like oh man you know it, it's been really slow um there's only like been one deer killed um it's been just really slow this year really slow so well how was it last year he's like oh man you know it's kind of the same last year well what happened what happened to 20 years ago well a lot of a lot of things back then I never remember seeing as many people there. So now we have more people, more pressure on that land, and more people killing the deer. So the quantity of deer has fallen. And they, he was telling me that they have put uh, trail cameras out, you know, because it's all farmed, you know, soybeans, corn, and everything. So, like I said, it used to be dynamite. And they put some trail cameras out to kind of see what was in the area. And 
they saw some deer majority of deer were at nighttime and nighttime because of pressure and recently they have opened the place up to uh, horseback riders uh, fox hunters uh, they're allowed to bring their dogs in there it's like a club type thing that they that they opened up to the to these uh, fox hunters and, and such they can bring dogs and horses and you know and things like that and I was actually hunting one day and here comes a side-by-side -side riding through the woods like, man what the what the heck you know it's just it's just from pressure so I was I wanted to share that story with you guys because deer are not naturally nocturnal it's what we do on a daily basis that makes them nocturnal it, it's what we do it, it's from human interference human pressure the best way to prevent that is to go into your property as least as possible only go in there when you have to check your trail cameras when you're actually go hunting don't just go in there periodically just to check them you know keep them in an area where it's less disturbance to your hunting property you know and just keep it to the minimum because the more you go in there the more you pressure them the more you will make them nocturnal and I just wanted to bring this video to you guys hope it helped and I don't think a lot of people realize that you know they have this piece of property and they just don't see deer and they're like man this place sucks well I'm telling you probably it most likely it doesn't suck it's just because of pressure what's going on around your land and what you are doing to the property